so uh, i flew here on 27th of july and uh, there was an orientation called k launch which happened on 5th of august so since i am in a business school we have this k launch activity and it's a one week of orientation so there are a lot of good activities going on during the launch we have scavenger hunts uh, we have several de- leadership development sessions uh, we have sessions on safety uh, health insurance and all and apart from that like two main uh, things which i found really good was we had a uh, city trek so we traveled to indianapolis and uh, there we went to companies we had company visits there so it was really good experience you know getting to know about companies there and how do they work apart from that like we also had one session where they taught us how to eat food when we dine outside so here we dine with like we don't use spoon regularly we use fork and knife so things are different in a way but uh, for you actually takes care during orientation of all these small things also i came here about 12 days uh, before so since i've left my job and i did not have much to do back in india so i tried to come here earlier uh, there are after coming here there are a lot of things that you know students do typically they have to open bank accounts have mobile connections and all those things so uh, they take a bit of time so i would suggest students to come around 10 to 12 days earlier for my course which is supply chain uh, i have 40 students and the ratio would be like 25% in indians 25% chinese and the rest 50% would be distributed from african to you know latin american and other countries i would say uh, 36 students and uh, some have typically 8 to 10 years of work experience some are like freshers also like three or four of them and others have one or two years so average number would be for supply chain course it should be around 3 to 4 years uh, of average work experience all depends on how you pace your course so my initial first like in a whole one semester which is 6 months uh, we have module system uh, mod 1 and mod 2 So my initial first module was a bit heavy, and we had the career fair as well. So I was not able to find much time in mod one. But after that, I tried to you know find uh, be engaged in a lot of activities. First would be that I was a part of international friendship program at Purdue, where there is a host family that you know uh, we meet every month. We have lunch, dinner together. So that is one aspect. Uh, I'm part of Bridges International, where we have international students community, and we meet every alternate weeks or so. apart from that like we have on campus jobs as well so job and other organizations aside uh, it has been busy time but yeah i mean we have been having a lot of uh, you know get togethers and parties with friends so yeah i mean i have tried to find time aside of my academics so university organizes a lot of uh, career tracks or city tracks so we have to san francisco to silicon valley and other places so those are all paid it should be around 400 dollars or something like aside of the flight cost so those activities are paid but uh, i mean there are a lot of case competitions etc on campus which happen and students can take part in that for free in a uh, layman's term it would be like to find right product at right price uh, from right place at right time so it is managing like the uh, activities from finding suppliers negotiating your products and then ensuring that a products reach to customers on time so that whole chain i would call as a supply chain and uh, for me personally i wanted to be more on management side rather than on technical side i did my mechanical but in the third year while i was there i realized that concepts in like thermal engineering and core mechanical were not my thing and i have my family business also which is on the business side so i tried to remain in this area and since i work for 3 years in supply chain management i really find that this is the right area for me and my work ex has really helped me to you know finalize my future career So for supply chain we have to take around 30 credits and 17 credits are core classes and they vary from subjects like operations logistics uh, procurement sourcing etc and there are 13 uh, electives which we can take and i know for sure that purdue has really great uh, uh, like they give an option to choose 13 electives which is higher than what other universities offer it is not a track where you have to follow you can 
from other subjects so i was able to choose from accounting from marketing these are the two areas that i looked at while taking elective i was also able to do one corporate project using my elective credit so we have a lot of flexibility in choosing our uh, career track so uh, other departments like business uh, like we have business analytics we have marketing we have finance etc so it, it is possible to take i took accounting for managers which is from finance and i took pricing strategy and analysis which is from marketing side so the candidate school of management has a lot of flexibility the ie industrial engineering students have to apply for uh, you know permission and all and they have a bit of tough time in getting the subjects which are there in candidate business school but those who are joining business school they have a lot of good options to choose i don't think so it is possible to switch from let's say supply chain to finance but there was an option for us to change our track from supply chain to mba so i am doing masters in supply chain management but we had an option back in november to switch to an mba because uh, for you which has an mba program was uh, undergoing changes it was becoming a stem program so at that time we were offered an option to change it to all together to an mba course this meant that we would have to take around uh, one more semester and we have to pay the semester fees separately so we had an option but i don't think so we are able to switch from a uh, masters course to other masters course but we are able to switch from masters to mba provided the faculty gives the permission i would say things are really different when it compares to what we what i did in bachelors in india so here we have cases to do like we read a 10 to 12 uh, pages of case and then we develop our own hypothesis on that so this case study part is really different we have, at least i have not done previously in my uh, bachelors rest of the things uh, we have a lot of games that we have to play with each other when it comes to supply chain so I know, uh, like I've played three to four games, and one of them was uh, one is a dealer, one is a distributor, and also we have to negotiate with each other. So it is more of interactive thing rather than more of theoretical. But yes, we do have exams and all, so we'll have regular assignment submissions and all apart from these cases and the game. So it is a mix of both, but uh, it is totally different from what I had done before. at least in cranard we have the cranard curve where 35 30 to 35% get a or a minus and then we have the next 25% who get b plus and b so they follow a cranard curve for me initially i tried to focus more on career search rather than gpa but when it comes to the grading they have a lot of good weights to the regular daily assignment submission and all uh, as compared to exam so exam typically make around 40% of grading but we have 60% for attendance and uh, regular assignments cases project work etc so last year while i was traveling i had the same question so i uh, got in touch with a lot of seniors and uh, they had suggested a lot of softwares to learn i am still you know learning it so i would say one should learn advanced excel and typically excel uh, you know goes in a long way to convince yourself and companies that you can do a lot of optimization projects and apart from excel uh, i would suggest maybe learn python which i, I am doing right now